Hey there, welcome to another tutorial on Acid Suits, and I'll be showing you how to make Afrobeat melodies inspired by Rema in FL Studio. So first, make sure you have your tempo set between 90 to 110 BPM. Typically, most of Rema's beats are between 90 to 110, but sometimes he does extend it to about 113. But I'm going to be picking nine, um, 97 BPM and already have my drum pattern. <laughs> Now, since this is a um, melody tutorial, so I'm not going to go into the drums. So, for to create Rema type beats, you need to start with the chords because most times the chords give you direction. Okay, so you can create the chords, but if you do, if you don't have to create chords, like a lot of producers struggle with, or you just don't have fresh ideas, I do have chord, uh, MIDI chord packs inspired by Rema, the Rave chord pack, which is included in the Mega Bundle kit. Or if you just want the single chord pack you can also get it but i recommend you get the entire bundle because it has artists um calls from artists inspired by Bona boy asha care whiskey rema arasta and so on okay so he has like a lot of chords in there over 100 different unique afrobeat chords that can inspire your next production okay so let's get started all right so i'm just going to come to i'm going to start with the piano so i'm just going to come to my piano roll and I'm going to drag a couple of MIDI chords in here to see which one fits the vibe. Let me try one more and see. Okay, let me take let me try a lower octave and see how it sounds. Typically, you want to like move the chords between the lower and higher octave, you may get a different vibe from them. Right, so I'm just going to double this up on the playlist. So next, I'm going to try to create a simple and unique melody. Maybe more or less like the lead melody. So I'm just going to copy the chords. You know, as I say, with melodies, everything starts with the chords, okay? All right, so I'll be using this guitar sound, um, this ample guitar. I use it a lot in my videos and in my beats. So just paste the chord in here and let's move it out a bit. When you use this guitar, there's a thing in here you need to change into keyboard mode. Let's try um, a low octave. have an idea first of all let's quantize this have it here again yeah then have another one here Seats. Let me add an effect to the guitar and see if I can make it sound even more interesting. Um, shave off some low end. Just want classic high pass. Okay, so now it's time to add another melody. I'm thinking more like a flute. Let's try piccolo. I'm 
Let me take it to a higher octave, but let's see. Then take it to a higher octave, concise. Here's the volume. Let me try a different sound. Alright, so let's find some keys to layer this with. Come to explore, instrument types, come to keys. So let's look for some, let's even try to filter it, come to styles. Let's see if we can find some atmospheric keys. I like this but the lower octave so I'll just copy the chords find first empty then paste it on the sound I'm going to reduce the length because it sounds like an ambient and some ambient melodies do have very long sustains. So I'm going to reduce the length so it doesn't have that long um, duration. Yes, like that. Now let's see how it sounds. Perfect. So I'm going to just render this in place. All right. So let's add some strings to make it even more emotional because a lot of Rema's beat has string. It could be a synth string or, you know, a regular string. Okay. Let's see what we can do with that. Okay, then next we need um, a good old string, just a regular string this time. For the strings, I'll be here on Sonic, um, the set, the cello preset under strings. If I just come to strings, all the cello presets right here, 043 cello presets. And you can pretty much just search the presets I use in the search tab. So I'm going to take this out. Let me, let me try it with the chords, but you know, um, with some variation. So I'm going to come to the chords, um, copy this, and then come in here. I feel like the strings could be better. So paste it in here. Let me try high octave. Yes. And I'm going to try to play with some this, take it up. The volume. So 
So for the base, I'm going to use Analog Lab. Just clone Analog Lab. And then come to Explore, Instru um, Types, look for bars or base. So I want a sub bars. Let me just click sub bars, then audition them. Typically, your base will be on the lower octave. Come to browse, come to bars. I already have some few presets in here that I like. See how it sounds. Bring it down. This how it sounds. Let's add maybe a log drum, you know, just to, just to give it some vibe and see. Come right here, log drum. So I'm with the log drum, first of all, let's transpose. So I'm with the log drum is I like making it have this extended feel. And to do that, just simply increase the release and the decay. Then we to just play it with the same pattern here in the bass. Yeah. So after arranging everything and adding some sound effects, this is how it sounds when it's arranged. So if you found this helpful, hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials, tips and tricks. And remember, you can get this MIDI chord pack and many other chord pack with the link in the description. I'm Mr. Classy. See you soon. Cheers.